So what happened when United by Nature went to the JavaScript meetup and sang Hip Hop Array? <laughs> Dad jokes. All right. I don't want to waste too much time because I got a lot of stuff to go through. So um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Remix. Thank you, Remix Conf um, team for having me. Um, I know it took a lot to organize. I know what it's like. So. Uh, a valiant effort. And uh, I certainly do want to thank, um, I give a shout out to Brian LaRue as well. I'm actually taking a slot, so i um, just going to send a shout out for him for a speedy recovery. So I'm going to start by saying good morning, Dom. For the 10 of you who follow me, you probably know, but I like to greet the Dom every single morning. All right, so that's what I do. And first of all, I like to say thank you, Salt Lake City. It's my first time out here. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. And um, I was really excited because when I got picked for the talk, I'm thinking to myself, man, I think I might go see the Utah Jazz because the playoffs are starting, and I thought it was going to be pretty cool for me to go to a game. And then this is what happened. The Utah Jazz got eliminated, and I was like, all right, I'm not going to go see a game. No plans. In fact, this is the Utah Jazz players looking at me while I was making my plans. <laughs> Anyhow, um, speaking of Salt Lake, but... I was thinking about Salt Lake, and I'm thinking to myself, man, Salt Lake, Salt Lake, Salt Lake City Games. And I, you know, I, was, I always remember him because a friend of mine was actually involved, but that's a separate story. But the thing about Salt Lake City Games, I looked it up, and you know, it was the 20th anniversary this year, which is pretty cool. And I was like, oh man, Norway, they kind of won the, the medal standing with uh, 13 gold. Germany got 12, USA got 10, Canada got seven. But the only thing that mattered is the fact that Canada beat the USA to get the golden hockey. Twice. Because the women won as well, so yay, Canada. Anyhow, let's go. Uh, but the one thing I wanted to say that, you know, the Olympic Games actually made me kind of think. So would you believe me if I told you that there was a sort of correlation between the Olympic Games and web performance? Would you believe me now? Okay, so um, real quick, I think there are metrics involved in everything we do. So before I came here, I landed here on Monday. I was at, uh, it was in Carlsbad, California. I went and ran. I went and ran 5K, hadn't run one in a while, hadn't trained, but this is the data that I had. Ran 5K, 21.30 on the time, 4.17 pace, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But once upon a time, the time was what I really, that, that's what mattered to me in terms of a metric. But these days, the pace is what I look at. It's what gives me an idea of my conditioning, how I feel, was it really hard, et cetera, et cetera. But anyhow, we're gonna talk about metrics today. So um, I retitled my talk, so I wanna welcome everyone to a talk that I'm calling The Metric System. Yes, I am Canadian. Um, it's gonna be a deep dive into metrics using web page test. So I wanna introduce myself. My name is Henri. And you can find me on Twitter at this, uh, ha this Twitter handle, which is Henri Helvetica. Um, I work at the world-renowned, the venerable web page test. You can find us at Real Web Page Test. There, I'm the lead for the developer community. I speak to developers like yourselves. Uh, essentially, I'm here to introduce new developers to web page test, and I'm here to listen to classic and uh, sort of uh, so people who know uh, web page tests and you know check out their feedback. Now I also run the Toronto Web Performance uh, Meetup group and I also run the Jamstack Toronto Meetup. But you could also, if I'm not doing any of the above, you could also find me um, sharing my runs uh, using hashtag hashtag pardon me devs who run. Now let's talk about metrics. So what are metrics? What's a metric? It's a system or standard of measurement. All right, that sounds cool. So, you know, me running on the weekend, those are metrics. Those rings on your Apple Watch closing, those are metrics. The tickets sold for the workshop and this Remix conference, those are kind of metrics too. But at the end of the day, we're here to talk about development and specifically 
modern development. I mean, SSR, ISR, SSG, CSR. I mean, I could be missing something. I mean, this is not Craigslist anymore. You know, we are not in Kansas. So modern development requires absolutely modern metrics. Now, by show of hands, who remembers Firebug? Okay, so everyone who doesn't have a hand up, you just saw a lot of the OGs in the room, all right? Um, but Firebug was essentially sort of like the earliest form of like DevTools. And, you know, specifically, if you listen to, well, this is a quote from um, Joe Hewitt, the author. He said that Firebug existed for two reasons, really. Uh, one, to look at the, uh, the page load, uh, when it loads, uh, and then um, to show what happens after the page load. Those are two metrics, essentially. Now, um, here's a little bit of history for you. Uh, Firebug is actually what got web page tests started because at the time, um, Pat Meenan was working at AOL and all the engineers there were using Firefox because Firebug's, uh, Firebug was a Firefox extension and there was nothing for IE, so he ported it and he created this thing called page test, which eventually became web page test. Just a little for you. Now, here's a shot of actually Firebug at work and you're looking at, again, the early renderings of you know, a dev toolsy kind of metricy kind of way of looking at page load, all right? I hope I'm not killing you with these plosives or whatever they call them. Um, but the important thing is that Firebug was called Web Development Evolved. And this was the beginning of what would be the evolution of metrics. Um, so what was once a clear process of providing proof and speed matured into something like a Macedoine, kind of like a mix. In fact, I like this quote right here, which is page performance is now parts proof perception in all user experience. That's a fantastic quote from, um, oh yeah, me. <laughs> so once again, I want to remind everyone, you cannot improve what you don't measure. I will never improve my 5K race if I don't look at what I did, what I'm doing right now, and what I'm trying to do in the future. So it's the metric system, so let's go. Now, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time to talk about core vitals. Actually, I'm not, because there's a core vitals talk later on today. Shout out, to, uh, there you go. Um, Eric's gonna give us a good talk about core vitals, so I'm gonna skip that. But I will mention Lighthouse. And it would be impossible to talk about performance without mentioning Lighthouse, without mentioning what it's meant to sort of lift the conversation around performance within the developer community. Now, Lighthouse provides a look at six modern metrics, and they are the following. First, Contentful Paint, FCP, TTI, Time to Interactive, Largest Contentful Paint, Speed Index, Total Blocking Time, and cumulative layout shift, that was a mouthful. And when you do your audit, it looks a little something like this. You get all these metrics, you have these numbers, you're like, okay, I think I understand what's going on. I'm, I think I do, because I'm a developer, like I'm using Remix, so I know I'm good. But you know what? We're gonna get into a deep dive, because, deep dive, because um, that's where we come in at web page test. Um, we're gonna to show you, we're gonna show you how, you know, you've been potentially driving a Toyota Prius, and we are the Tesla with the performance package and dual engine, all right? Um, so vroom, and let's deep dive. No speedos. So the first thing you're gonna do is jump down to webpagetest.org, and it's gonna look like a little something like this, all right? So you're gonna drop in the URL, boom, and you're gonna hit go. The first thing you're gonna see is a bunch of results like this. Bunch of metrics that you've seen before, but right away you can see there's some additional details here because that's what we're going to provide. Um, the first thing you see, well, one of the things you see though is uh, the LCP, the CLS, and the TBT. Now, I do want to point out the LCP and the TBT because if you're familiar with the Lighthouse score, what you might not be familiar with is that those two metrics are worth 50% of your score. So if they do not work, Things are not gangster out the gate, all right? So right below it, what you can see is this thing that we love to use, which is called the famous 
film strips. You can see sort of like a progression of the page load. All right, what if I click on that film strip? Boom. What do we see here? Details. So the first thing you're going to see is right away is um, some of the, well, like I said, the details. And you see that solid yellow line. That's going to indicate some visual change. Anything dotted is a layout shift. Now, if we progress, the red solid line is your LCP. So here you can see it happens somewhere around like, well, I don't know if you could tell, but somewhere around like 9.5 seconds, which is not gangster, by the way. Now, let's get into some more details. Boom, because that's what we provide at web page test. Now, what we can see right here is we are going to indicate to you where the LCP took place and it's um, overlaid in some green. Now here was the unnamed website <laughs> with the green layout, okay? And that's where the LCP occurred. We gave you some more details here, letting you know when the LCP occurred here at 9.3 seconds, all right? But we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna give you more details. We can tell you the actual where the LCP actually took place. Now, normally, we'd be able to point it out to you in the waterfall that's below it, but since it was inlined, there's no actual request to point to, but we'll let you know that, you know, where you might be able to take a look and see where you can make some edits. Now, I've spent a little time here talking about the LCP. Well, I'll tell you why. Because LCP is one of the metrics that developers struggle with the most, 55% of, um, of over 8 million sites have good LCP, which leaves just under half that are like mediocre or very bad, all right? So that's something I just want to, um, to highlight, and this was according to the HTTP archive, if you're not familiar with it, a fantastic trove of how the web was built. Now, I talked about the speed index real quick. It's actually one of my favorite um, metrics, and it's one, again, that you get when you do your, the audit that you're accustomed to. And most might look at the LCP, I mean, pardon me, the speed metric like, oh, you know, it's a figure, it's 9.8 seconds, whatever. Well, what it is, actually, it's a index of visual completeness. Now, you might look at this chart like, okay, I've never seen this before. Well, these are the details that we provide over at web page test. And what this indicates right here is around eight some seconds, I think it is, or nine, um, the visual completeness jumped to like 80 some percent. All right? So just by looking at this graphic, you can see what was happening with the load process and the completeness on your, uh, on your page. And to verify that fact, I can zoom in on that film strip and you can see right at the bottom, it went from zero to 88% in literally a frame. These are the things that you wanna take back with you and understand what is going on with the load process on your page. Six minutes left, all right. So I want to touch on this waterfall that we have because it is world class. All right, the details. We're going from the Prius to the Tesla, all right? Every single request on our waterfall, you can click and get additional details. Host, protocol, priority, request ID. It's extremely detailed. I mean. I can do an entire workshop just on a waterfall. We're thinking of releasing a little, um, kind of like a, a book apart sized um, book, book obviously, um, just on the waterfall that, that we provide. Now, there's so much more stuff that we could talk about, like, and this is on our YouTube channel, which I'll link. Um, you know, we can help you test in sort of different countries, different network conditions. I think Michael Jackson talked about that and tops, talked about like, shipping some stuff, everything's you know, hunky-dory, and people come back, they're like, yo, this is not gangster. You know? But we'll help you test that. Um, and on different browsers, too, we'll be able to simulate single points of failure. All right? And within WebPageTest, you can get your Lighthouse score and your Core Web Vitals. 
So you do not have to leave web page tests at all. You can go to Twitter and use hashtag how to web page test and you'll see some of these uh, details that have been posted already five minutes ago, let's go. We have hella integration, uh, integrations, all right? GitHub Actions, VS Code integrated. Um, we have this image analysis tool that actually takes you to uh, a partner, uh, Cloudinary, and they'll let you know whether or not uh, your images are compressed enough. They'll let you know whether or not you might uh, be able to use a different format. Maybe you stay on JPEG, probably not, but maybe you do. You know, maybe you'll move to WebB, maybe, you, maybe you'll move to AVIF. And we have this amazing, amazing integration with this um, app called Request Map. And it looks something like this. Now, you're able to see all the requests and the third party requests that are coming in that you probably did not know about, all right? Again, Toyota Prius to the Tesla. Vroom, vroom. Okay, so something that I do want to spend a little bit of time on is um, a detail and a feature that we get pinged a lot about. And um, I have to say I'm very delighted to know that Remix has championed this feature. And it's actually called the visual comparison. All right? Four minutes. So demo time. And I spell it like that because it's already pre-made, half-baked. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to do it from here, so as long as you can see what's going on. So I'm on webpagetest.org, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna see, you can go into visual comparison, all right? So you'd click on that, drop in your uh, URL, or your URLs, because you're actually gonna be able to use um, several. And what you end up with, give me a second. Okay, so what we have here, I dropped in um, four sites, four like local newspapers, whatever. Um, I don't even remember who they are. Okay, Tribune, whatever. So we can actually compare four film strips, okay? So I remember originally when I saw it, it came down here and I'm like, yo, what happened to my third one? I thought it may be somewhere crazy because I was on a hotel Wi-Fi, but they, f they loaded up so quick that that was it for them. But you can see, you can start to compare the four film strips and see what's going on with your quote-unquote competitor, okay? The one thing that I want to point out is, you see that red line on the left-hand side? It actually aligns with this red line on the waterfall, so you can sort of see what's going on. Okay, it gets more gangster. So, um, you can actually take the four uh, waterfall charts and superimpose them with opacity. Okay, and like you can start to make these comparisons. Now take that with you and start to realize what you can actually get done. Now, um, I'm gonna get back to the piece de resistance, which is this comparative video that uh, Remix keeps uh, posting. So here, I could actually show you what's going on with the four sites. Which one's loading quickest when it goes uh, when it desaturates, goes bl uh, black and white, that's when it's done. So here is the actual eye test. You can actually see what is going on with your page. So you wanna talk about powerful visuals, this is what we're talking about. This is why Remix is constantly pushing this out on Twitter and on their docs to let you know what's going on. Recently I've seen Gatsby was doing it as well and a couple other people there. Now, I could let that last one go and go into the next talk, but I mean, the Denver Post, they got work to do. Denver, are you here? Okay, let's go, man. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's what I want to show you there, but this is super duper powerful, and that's the visual um, comparison. Okay, 
So ultimately, what am I here for? I want to help you with performance literacy. I think the more you know about performance, the better it's going to be ultimately. Um, okay, so let's talk about the median lighthouse score. Show of hands if you think that the median lighthouse score across the web is 75 or higher. Okay, how about 50 to 74, show of hands. Okay, what about 25 to 49? And below that? Okay, well, it's actually 41. Da, winners. But real quick, um, you know, um, we're simply here to try to help build a better web as well with performance. And quoting Remix, we're here to deliver a fast, slick, and resilient user experience. Um, we have the tools to empower small and large enterprises uh, from deep technical to the marketing person who wants to take a look at their core web vitals. Now, ultimately, we are super duper happy to be here because we saw that Remix was happy to talk about performance and we are too as well. So Remix and Webpage Test, it's like our missions are totally aligned. Um, ultimately, it's like hand in glove. You know, it's all love. So real quick, this is my last few slides. Um, you can scan this right now. You can get a free account at Webpage Test. Um, I'm here to help you out as well. Um, but you can go to bit.ly um, slash WPT slash remix. Come check me out. We do have a stream that we usually do on Thursdays. I won't because I'm here. But if you go to WPT Live on Twitch, uh, we also have a channel where we talk about all these features that we're doing. Um, hey, do you have a stream? Hit me up. Maybe I'll jump on. We can work together. Do you have a podcast? Hit me up. I'll come up and talk about that as well. Shout out to James. Shout out to Anthony who are in the building. I'm going to be on their podcast soon. Um, once again, you can find me on Twitter, Henry Henri Alverica. Find me on, uh, at Real Web Page Test as well. And uh, at the end of the day, merci. Thank you very much.